Happy winter, everyone. This is for all those who want to have snow in their backyard, but may not have the precipitation for it. In this video, I'll go over how to set up your system and see if you have the right weather conditions to make it snow. If you like this video and you're into this type of stuff, maybe check out my channel and see if you may want to subscribe. All right, so let me show you what we're dealing with. So I got a 2700 PSI uh, pressure washer, but the more important number for making snow is the gallons per minute that it puts out. This one's 2.4. The more gallons per minute you have, the more snow you can make, but also the more air you're gonna need. So I've got a, I think this is like 11 or 12 um, cubic feet per minute air compressor. The gasoline ones have far more um, GPM than the electric ones. Um, you can get by on a smaller one, but you may not be able to pump out as much water at one time. Then we got the snow gun up here. Um, you don't need to put it on a scissor lift. I just have this available to me, so I'm going to use it. You can put it on a ladder, but it needs to be up somewhere high. All right, so the two main things you need to make snow are water and air. Now, this is how I have my snow gun set up. I got the instructions off of snowathome.com. I didn't follow it to a T. I put my own little design into it as well. The way I've got mine set up here is we've got the water hose up top going into two spray nozzles. Those are 15 degree pressure washer nozzles. I've also got a water line going downward that has a, I believe it's 5 ths of an inch hole drilled into the cap of that. So you can regulate the water with this lever here and you can also regulate the air that's coming out the bottom with this regulator. So basically you've got water spraying going on up top and then you've got air splitting up the water particles on the bottom. We call that atomization or nucleation. And then as the water falls, it falls on top of that mist and all turns into snow. This is why the higher you have the snow gun, the better, because the more time it has to turn into snow on the way down. So here's how to see if it's cold enough to make snow. So snow making relies on the wet bulb temperature, which is a combination of the temperature and the humidity. So we can see it's 28 degrees Fahrenheit and it is 63% humidity. So now we can go on to an online calculator and we can put in it's 28 degrees and the humidity is 63%. So now we can see it is 23.3 degrees in wet bulb, which is below freezing, so we're good to make snow. And of course, the colder it is and the drier it is, the higher quality of the snow. And if it's more humid outside, that means that it needs to be colder to be able to make snow. And on the flip side of that, if it's really dry, you can get away with, you know, a temperature up in maybe 31, 32 degrees. Okay, so we want to make sure our water's on. So now we can start up our pressure washer. And now we can start up the air compressor. Okay, so now we can turn the water on. And now we can start building up some air pressure. And now we can start easing up on our nucleator. Alright, now I'm going to raise up the lift. Okay, I hope you enjoyed 
enjoyed. I'm gonna go warm up now.